Hello. Hi, how are you? I am great. Thank you. How are you? Awesome. I believe you're. Yes, yes. <laughs> because of the way you said it, you said, I am great. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. I am interested to learn the business English. Ah, let me pull up some business English for you. Yes. Very uh, good. So actually, I am working with my clients. So professionally, I am a software developer. So yes, of course, you are much more experienced in business English. So uh, suggest me a few things that how I can improve and what are the basic things which I can't hear you. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. Oh, please come back. I can't hear you. I'm waiting for it to come back. Please don't let me lose you. I do not want to lose you. Hello. There you are. You're back. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I lost you for a minute and I was like, please come back. Please come back. And you did. I'm so glad. I was I'm so glad you did. Huh? I was also waiting. Was what? <laughs> I mean, I was waiting, waiting. Waiting. Okay. Yes. I'm with you now. You were, you were waiting. Okay, good. Now, now I understood you. It took me a second, but I got it. Okay. I'm yes. going to start you out. I'm going to start you out on meetings, but I may change. I, I need to listen to you speak for a little while yes. and listen to you read and kind of get a feel for where you are. And that's going to let me know what kind of materials uh, are, are going to benefit you the most. Yes. Awesome. And I'm happy to be working with you. I love business English. So I'm really excited. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's get into this. Looks interesting. I'm not spending a lot of time on some of the other slides because I want to get the most I can out of this. Describe the last business meeting you attended. What was on the agenda? What was the goal? And who uh, attended and who led the meeting? Uh, so I did need to explain, right? Okay. What you're going to do is describe the last business meeting you attended. Okay. For example, for an example, if I said the, the last business meeting that I attended was, uh, for Airbus, uh, mm -hmm. What was on the agenda? Well, it was really IOR, but it was about Airbus students. What was on the agenda was how we were going to teach online due to the pandemic. The goal meeting was to move the students from being in person to being online. And who attended were all the employees of International Orientation Resource. And it was led by Rita Hess, who is the, the manager over that department. So... In your case, when you're going to describe the last business meeting you attended, what would be the last business meeting you attended? Yes, the same thing which you have explained. Actually, uh, I have also attended the meeting. So in that, uh, the agenda was to, uh, I mean, we had the system which was offline and we were in, uh, interested to make everything online because of the COVID and we had certain events which we need to organize online. So mm -hmm. the goal was to uh, bring those attendees and professionals who were interested to attend that meeting uh, towards the online, uh, online meetings and online, uh, I mean, events. Perfect. So, yes. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Very good. All right. We're going to look for just a minute at time conjunctions. And what I want to let you do is this. These time conjunctions are going to connect an action or event to a point in time. So okay. I want to let you read. And after you read, I'd like you to use an example, make a, a sentence using an example with these words, if you don't mind. Yes, sure, sure. So. 
So first of all, I need to lead, uh, read, right? Yes, beginning right here. Perfect. Before, after, and until. To talk about the order of events in the past or future, for example, before the meeting started yesterday, the boss called me in his office. Example, I am going to wait to leave until I finish this email. So now I need to uh, make some examples, right? Yes. I will finish all the tasks before the end of day, end of the day. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Yes. And now I have the word after. Mm -hmm. So after convincing all those attendees towards the meeting, I then sent an email to my client that everything is ready now. Yep, and you don't need this, you already know this, which is what I was trying to find out. <laughs> so let's skip ahead because you already know those words. You don't need any of that, you know it. <laughs> okay. so, let's move on and see if you know these idioms. If you know these idioms, I'm going to move you into a different lesson because I want to be sure you learn something new that you never knew before. Yes, yes, of course. Today. Okay, how about this? Have you heard this idiom before here? To get down to business, to start work. Yes, I heard about it. Okay, how about this one? Show of hands. Yes, no, this not. Okay. So the way they use it is exactly like the example. Let's have a show of hands of how many want the meeting on Friday and everybody raises their hand that wants it on Friday. Yes, yes. So okay. this means that... So it's a vote. And there are leaders who are uh, doing the public speaking. So at that moment, they are showing the hands. Is it like that? It is. It's a it's a vote. It's a vote. If you said, uh, let's have a show of hands of everybody who wants to continue these English lessons, and you and I both raised our hand, oh, then we, okay, voted. Okay. we voted. We voted. We voted to continue. So show of hands is an informal vote. Okay. Have you heard this one before, to touch base? No, never. Okay. Now, this is an interesting phrase, too, and I can tell you where it came from. It came from baseball. Okay. <laughs> you know, in baseball, they have three bases, and they run from base to base. Uh -huh. And and the, uh, the player will be standing on base, and then the person guarding the base will be standing on base, too, together. Yes. So when you touch base, when you touch base with someone, you give them an update. You get in touch with them. You tell them what's going on. For example, uh, to contact someone and, and give or receive an update, I'll touch base with him after the meeting. Or can you touch base with me, please, and let me know what's going on. If you accepted my business deal, uh -huh. okay, then, then I might say, hey, look, I need you to touch base with me every week. Yes. Touch base with me every week. Let me know what's going on. Keep me updated. Yes. Okay. Touch. So. Yes. You mean that touch base means uh, you must have that type of information which you are interested to know about. Yes. It's usually an update. Okay. But it means to be in contact with uh you could touch base oh dang it i have a typo error <laughs> okay. you could touch base every week for example you could say i touch base with uh with him every week and let him know how things are going with the company okay very good very good all right so let's <laughs> Thank you, too. 
let's uh, let's fill in the blanks with the uh, with these words, if you don't mind. Yes, of course. I will kick off this meeting by going over the agenda. Perfect. Can I get a for who will be available on the weekend? Can I get a show of hands? Exactly. Perfect. He wants to get some. This meeting will be seen. he want he wants to get some feedback from a source group focus group exactly perfect exactly then we have this meeting will be touch base since i will brief with all of you individually this week is it no it will be brief short okay? okay it'll be a short it'll be a brief meeting it's going to be short uh because well, i'm going to touch be base. Brief. brief it will be brief because i will touch base with you individually right okay i'll get in touch with you individually during the week yep very good awesome thank you <laughs> Thank you too. It's, I love. I love. I'm. I'm enjoying the lesson. It's very good. All right. So let's look at these. Let's look at some of these words here that you might. Uh, you may know these words, but let's just review yes. for just a minute. Yes, I know. You know? Collaborate. Collaborate. Right? Decide. Update. Exactly. So we're going to get together and collaborate with each other, then make a decision, and then update the okay. whoever needs to be updated. All right. Very good. All right. So in that case, I'm going to skip on over here like I do. Vocabulary All tracking. right. Yes. So I need to read, right? Yes, but what you're going to do then is you're going to rephrase the sentence using this word. You're going to make this same sentence, but you're going to make the sentence using this word over here. Okay, so the thing is like she will go over her idea during the meeting. Right. Or maybe she will give the proposal. During that's the it. Meeting. Yes, that's very good. Good job. Absolutely. Okay, this one you don't have to do because you know that. I know you know that already. You know task. Let's try this one with collaborate. So we are going to work together on this project. Uh, work together or maybe we are going to collaborate. Exactly. On this project. Perfect. Perfect. And I'm not worried about decision. You already know decision. So, oh no, ah, it's, it's about to kill our time. Now we're on slide 10. When we start, we're on slide 10 of business meetings. Yeah. Okay. And I was, and I'll send you, oh, I know. I hate that, but I'll send you some extra stuff. In 